Chris's and Waters. Let's take a look at these temps as you guys are stepping out your door, getting your day going. 75 degrees in the El Paso area, 69 over there in Las Cruces. You're going to be heading west. You're looking at 73 in Deming, 71 over in Silver City. Looking good, New Mexico. As we get going, this is your Doppler radar outside your door right now. Nothing really crazy going on here in the El Paso, Las Cruces, Chaparral areas. You guys can see it's pretty calm, but if you guys start heading a little bit west, you can see up there near Silver City as you start heading towards Lord along that I-10 corridor going west. You may be running in some of that wet stuff, so be careful, slow down, take your time. We got plenty of it, trust me. You're gonna be hitting that little white ball around outside, getting mad, busting your clubs and throwing them away. 11 a.m. for that tea time, 91 degrees, not bad at all there. Very slight wind. Now after that, though, we may be seeing some rain, so be careful with that. 97 at 1 p.m., then 3 p.m., it's gonna be warm, so make sure you're drinking that water and trying to find some shade as we keep on going. Now your short, short term future cats. I want you guys to kind of see what's going on. This is noon. You can see Chaparral, you're getting a little bit of rain there. Getting some rain up there in Las Cruces, also heading west. All here in this southeastern New Mexico area, you're going to be seeing some rain. And as the time goes on, 1 p.m. you see a little bit more there in the Chaparral, El Paso area, along with Las Cruces there near Columbus as well. So it's going to start picking up in the afternoon hours. Zooming in a little bit, you can see just south of El Paso and just a little bit north. You got some cells starting to pick up there as well. Again, this is around 3 p.m. So make sure you kind of plan your day accordingly. And then around 8 and 9, nothing really too much as well as your evening starts to progress. So again, from about 12 to about 0, 04, 5, you may be seeing some rain. Now your rain cast here for the next seven days. Tomorrow, nothing much. It's going to be kind of chill, very warm day. But you got your 10% there for Wednesday and then drop it down a little bit on Friday with some more throughout the rest of the week. So no really crazy rainstorms like we're used to through the monsoon season, but just enough to kind of get your attention. 100 degrees all throughout the El Paso area, as you guys can see. Anthony, 100 there. 98 Montana Vista, Fabens, you had 100 as well. Sneaking over to Donnie, Anna, let me guess, 100 degrees as well. Surprise. It's going to be warm out here in the borderlands, so be careful. Again, try to make sure you're getting shade. You're not overexerting yourself. I don't want your heat stroke and passing out. You know, oh, man, 100 degrees there in Van Oen. You're your Hutsmith, Culberson County area. So, again, warm, warm, warm all throughout the borderland. 10% chances of rain as well. So just be careful with that. 100 degrees for tomorrow. So it's going to stay warm all week long. As you guys can see, topping off there with 100 degrees as well on Monday. So again, we're dealing with these hot temps. Try to be careful as you're out there. Now let's go over to your seven-day forecast sponsored by Mattress Farm because there's no real issues with the wind. So don't have to worry about it too much today. First three days, you can see you're going to be close to your 100. 10% chances of rain through Thursday. Next seven days, same situation. 100 degrees, 10% chances there Saturday and Sunday. Andres? All right. Thank you so much, Will. Thank you. Uh, right time right now is 550. Here's what it looks like at I-10 and Red Road. Now all westbound lanes are still closed, but we're starting to see heavy delays for those.